Hi, I'm Rob Moyer, and this is Ocean River Shields of Achilles. And today I'm standing on the banks of the Mystic River uh, in Somerville. And with me is Beth Meserve from the Mystic River Watershed Association. Welcome, Beth. Tell us about where we're standing. Sure. So, as you mentioned, we are along the Mystic River here in Somerville at the Blessing of the Bay Boathouse, which is a wonderful access point for folks in the community to come and rent boats and get out on the Mystic, which is sort of an underutilized resource to folks in this very urban area. And the Mystic River starts at the base of the Lower Mystic Lake, which is in Arlington and Medford and it used to be tidal all the way up into those lakes but now there is a dam in Medford called the Amelia Earhart Dam that stops the tide from coming up this far. So this is actually a freshwater portion of the Mystic River. Here it's only about six feet deep despite being uh, rather wide in this location and you can see across the way uh, there's another park over there allowing folks to enjoy the, the beauty of the Mystic River. So there's like a walkway. I see there's a path over here where people can just walk that's right. And then there's like a, how's it go? Sure, there's about a three mile loop from this point, taking off along the highway, which is I-93 right here. A little, a little noisy over there. Uh, but it comes back through the park across the way, which is McDonald's Park, and then crosses back over on the Wellington Bridge. That's great. I can see you got park benches out there, so I can sit right. down, take a rest. And we've got um, ducks dabbling around that come to us and stuff. Yeah, you were saying this is a shallow water area. And I see that we have pond lilies uh, just over here that are indicative of shallow water. What other plants do you see here in the Mystic? Sure. Well, unfortunately, I do see some invasive species, such as the water chestnut, uh, which is right over here. You can see how it's sort of a rosette of leaves around a stem. And uh, these are not native and they reproduce like crazy. And they are a big problem in the Mystic River right now. Uh, there is a, a community effort underway uh, to remove the water chestnuts. Um, and there's actually been several community events where folks are actually out in canoes and kayaks and hand pulling them out, putting them in baskets. Uh, there's also going to be a mechanical harvester, which is a machine specially designed to tackle water chestnuts. And it's coming through, I believe, um, this week actually to take out a lot of these water chestnuts. Uh, here's one of their seeds. You can see it's quite spiky. Wicked! <laughs> it actually be a little, a little dangerous to uh, when you pull them up. You don't want to get stabbed with this. But this will lodge itself into the sediment uh, in the river. And there's research that shows that these can actually hang around for upwards of 10 years and still be fertile. And one plant can produce upwards of 10 seeds. So they really are quite aggressive. And unlike the pond lilies, these are invasive yes. alien species That's that, right. that don't belong here. That's and right. They're, they're choking up the river if yes. let go. Yep. And they were, they're competing with the uh, water lilies, as you mentioned, too. So they're pushing them out. And it actually causes problems for folks that want to enjoy the river because it clogs up the waterway so much it's very difficult for boats to get through. Now, speaking of enjoying the river, uh, in May or in June, you have a whole May. river. In May, there's a whole river fest, and I was fortunate to be able to, you'd arrange for the local kayak rental company to bring the kayaks right here and put me in a kayak. And, and then you had different stages of distances. I ended up going nine miles up the river and back again. Uh, tell us about that event. Sure, that was our 14th annual Mystic River Herring Run and Paddle which is a 5K race as well as a paddle race. It starts right here in the Blessing of the Bay Boathouse. And so the, the 5K actually does this loop I just mentioned. And the paddling race. It's a race, running race, yes, 5K. Yes, running yeah. race. And then the paddling races start right here and go upstream up towards the Mystic Lakes that I mentioned earlier as well. Um, and that's just a day to get folks on the river and to increase knowledge of this wonderful spot right here. Yeah, that's, that's really it. I was looking for an opportunity to be on the river with other people. And so, and you know, you had uh, boats at each marker buoy or something, so there was lots of, you know, I was hoping we could do a pub crawl as well, but yeah. there's no pullout places for all the no. pubs in Malden and no, stuff. that's right. And it's also a day to celebrate the return of the herring. 
uh, which is a type of fish that migrates from the ocean up the Mystic River to spawn or lay its eggs that time of the year. And so uh, if you're fortunate enough, you would see herring running alongside you uh, if you're in either running or paddling that day in May. They actually run. They, they wear Nikes? Or... <laughs> That's right. They're, they're a shoe of choice. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was really excited to see around the corner coming in a, a fabulous mural of the wildlife. And having paddled on the river, it was so neat to see, to see the same animals that I had seen from the kayak without the camera and stuff painted on the wall there. So let's go over and take a look at that mural. Great. I'm standing on Mystic Avenue in Somerville. This is one of the main thoroughfares going into Boston. And the community has contributed this mural behind us. Beth, tell us about what's happening here. Yep, so this is the Mystic Ave mural. It's run by the city of Somerville. It's actually, I believe, in its 14th year. And they hire a group of youth every summer to come and learn about the Mystic River watershed and then develop some sort of theme for their panel that summer. And behind me, you can see uh, the Blessing of the Bay Boathouse. There's uh, several rowers uh, departing from the boathouse there. Next, you see a group of volunteers removing an invasive plant, which is the Japanese knotweed. And I actually happen to know one of the volunteers there, so it's great <laughs> that they incorporate that local history and local knowledge. Uh, it also highlights a lot of the wildlife that we find here along the Mystic River, uh, such as egrets and mallards, and also the bald eagle, which, believe it or not, um, is present along uh, the Mystic River, especially in the Mystic Lakes. And they often will stay in the Mystic Lakes for just a short period of time during the winter when they're passing through. So we'll go up to the Mystic Lakes a little later in the show. So this part of the mural depicts the lower Mystic River, where you can see the Tobin Bridge behind me. You can also see the Amelia Earhart Dam. Those are folks canoe canoeing through the locks. 